Well, um, I don't know if there's a saying for this, but uh, I guess misery comes in pairs. Um, I had to put down uh, my other dog, um, my 16 year old Jet. And um, <sighs> he's been he's been struggling lately. He was struggling lately. Um, he has canine cognitive dysfunction or disorder. Um, it's doggy dementia, basically, and. Um, This morning he woke up and he normally does this thing where he kind of just gets up and he walks into the hallway and he sort of just stands still and he doesn't really move. And um, today he did that and he paused for a little long and then I heard him starting to heave and get sick. And uh, I walk over there and um, I could tell he's about to throw up so I hold his stomach and kind of hold him up. And so he throws up and, um, but I was fine at that point until he started to, um, to like try to throw up more, but couldn't. And then his face like seized up and his front legs collapsed and, and just completely fell out from under him. And I caught him, but as he fell to the floor, he just completely peed all over himself. And uh, I thought he was dying. I thought he was dying in my arms right there. But he's a freaking troop, a trooper. He's a champ and a trooper, which is apparently a trooper. And he got up, stood up, kind of shook it off. I took him outside to go to the bathroom, came in, and then he got some water. I fed him. And he kind of like looked up at me like, like what, no big deal, dude. But when that type of thing happens and it's with an older dog like that, um, you just know that it can't get better. And um, I called my parents and just, it was just crying on the phone and I just didn't, I didn't even know what to think, but I mean, I just put down my other dog on the 19th. I mean, go look at my journals. <laughs> my journals is just like me talking and then it's like meet my dogs and then it's like me putting my dog down and then it's like now I put my other dog down. And um, <laughs> it's just a lot. So after a lot of crying and a lot of talking with my folks, I moved his vet appointment up to the, to today. It was going to be tomorrow because he just he hasn't been doing well. His dementia's been getting kind of worse, and uh, I um I took him in today, and you know I gave him a bath beforehand. I just, I didn't know if I was gonna have another night with him or another hour. And uh, so I bathed him and got him all cleaned up. And I just did some little videos in the house before we left and I took him to the vet and you know, she was giving me some advice about what I could do and then kind of toward the end, she was just like, it's not going to get better. <laughs> and I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to. And he's 16, you know? It's like... He's had two more years than I thought I would have with him. <laughs> but I'm also feeling a lot of guilt. Because last night, I just... 
I just had a moment with him where I was trying to record videos and do some work and like I have a real well it's all love it's no love hate but I have a complicated relationship because my dogs have occupied so much of my energy and my time and my money and and everything and, and I, I would do it again I would do it again in a heartbeat but as life has been more stressful lately um you know it's just anytime sometimes a dog gets up it's like it's just like, and you want something and you're like right in the middle of thinking about something. I, my, my like stressed brain at the time just couldn't think clearly. And I just lashed out. I got really mad. And uh, I hate that. You know, I hate that. And I love him so much. And of course I was just like loving on him and apologizing. And, and he's so old that he gets shaken up very quickly and it just devastated me. And I knew from Layla's experience, I was like, dude, you have to embrace every moment. You have to embrace every single moment with them because you don't know when it's the last. You really don't. And in both instances, it was a situation like that where like, if it doesn't happen now, it could be worse later. So I just, this morning he got up and he got sick and I just realized like, I I can't have him dying at, at at the apartment feeling sick and crappy. Like he just I don't I can't do that. I can't risk that. The doctor said that if it's neurological, then it would probably happen again, and then it would be worse. And there's nothing you could do. So yeah, I could have had another night with him maybe. But I heard this this quote from someone who shared it with me. Um, it's it's better seven days too early than one day too late. And so. Yeah, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't live with myself. He's old, you know, and he's, honestly, it's probably been, I'm not going to say I waited too long, but he's been uncomfortable for a while. And, but he's such a tank. He's such a trooper that I just, you know, it's hard to tell. It's hard. It's really hard to tell. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how they're going to react. You just know that they're eating, they're drinking, they're peeing, they're pooping, they're doing the normal stuff. And today was just such a variant that I was like, I can't, I can't risk it. And I'm glad, I'm sad as fuck, but I'm glad that I did it. We walked around Williamsburg. And I got him with the freaking best chew bone you could eat for a dog. We walked around a bit and he was just, his legs were just given out. I had to carry him half the way. He's 95 pounds. And, um, got him to the vet. And, um, oh yeah. So no, so the, the, the vet said, you know, I wanted, I wanted my, the, the vet that put Layla down to put Jet down too. And she was available from until five. And we were at, I was at the clinic at, you know, 2.30 and the appointment's done by 3.30. I had one hour. <laughs> I had one hour to decide. No, I had like five minutes to decide if I wanted to do it that day, but I was like, I couldn't risk it. So we didn't even come back home. We just walked around. I got him his bone. Came back. He was so happy. Thank God he has dementia too, because when dogs forget the stuff that you don't want them to remember, it's really helpful. <laughs> He totally, he had to have forgotten. He was just chill as could be the next day. It took him back and got him all settled with the vet. He had a good friend with me. He's been there for both times. And, uh, yeah, I'm just crushed. Part of me is, like, most of me is crushed. And then another part of me is like, oh, God, neither of them are in pain anymore. Neither of them are hurting. Neither of them are struggling. They're just, they're just they're in doggy heaven <laughs> doing their thing, you know, and running around and chasing squirrels and I don't know, maybe metaphorical, but, but they're not in pain here on this earth. And I'm crushed, but I know I'll get through it, but, you know, I really had no intention of posting a journal, especially one like this, but... 
Oh, I did it for Layla. I have to do it for Jet. Oh, man. Whether it's family or a pet, just love. Love your animal. Love your family. Love your friends. Just enjoy every moment. Be slow to anger. Be calm. Be compassionate. Be kind. Love well. We don't have a lot of time on this earth. And certainly don't have a lot of remotely near as much time with our pets as we want. We have to cherish every moment. <sighs> well, I hope no one watches this. <laughs> I'm gonna post the Instagram post um, and the comment uh, in, in the in the um, in the notes below if you want to see pictures of Jet and see what I wrote about him. But um, oh man, on to less depressing content. <laughs> Oh man, I love him, I miss him. I love Layla and I miss her too. All right, I'm signing off. <sighs> what a day. All right, bye-bye.